T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Let's get the party started. Okay, let's get this, let's get this, let's get this, let's get this party started. Good evening and thank you for joining us. My name is Melissa Pache. I'm the CEO of the Whistler Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the 2021 Virtual Whistler Excellence Awards. Tonight we will celebrate Whistler's innovators, trailblazers and community cultivators. Whistler's Virtual Business and Community Awards build brands and honour local legends. Tonight is all about celebrating achievements from small businesses, entrepreneurs, community leaders, rising stars, and beyond, we are gathered this evening to acknowledge our business community and those that power it. I would like to acknowledge that we are having this amazing virtual event on the beautiful shared unceded traditional territories of the Squamish and Lillooet nations. We honour their language, their culture, land and traditions. On behalf of the Whistler Chamber of Commerce, in partnership with the Community Foundation of Whistler, Arts Whistler, Aware, and of course our valued presenting partner, Blue Shore Financial, I would like to welcome you to the virtual Whistler Excellence Awards celebration. This past year has been challenging for the Whistler business community. Whistler was able to come together and stay strong during the pandemic. This year we had a record amount of nominations, 145 nominations were received. Congratulations on that. This shows that our community is rallying behind our businesses and we really appreciate your effort in bringing these nominations together. Typically we would all be gathered in the Fairmont Ballroom celebrating together and dancing. But due to the uncertainty of the time of filming, we decided to create a virtual awards ceremony again this year. We have our fingers crossed that next year we will all be gathering in person again and I can't wait to see you all. This event was made possible with the help of our awards partners, Whistler Excellence Awards Committee, and of course our members. Thank you for your efforts leading up to this event and throughout the membership year. The presentation you are about to see tonight has been filmed, edited, and creative by Reactive Design. Reactive Design is owned and operated by longtime locals Mark Dion and Stacey Bodnaruk. They are a team of creative designers, videographers, drone pilots, storyboarders, photographers, script writers, and outdoor adventurists. Their skills and expertise has been integral in creating this video. Thank you for your contribution to the 2021 Virtual Whistler Excellence Awards. Without further ado, I welcome you to hear a few words from our presenting partner, Blue Shore Financial. Hi everyone, I'm Rob Spicer, Business Advisor at Blue Shore Financial here in Whistler. At Blue Shore, we're proud and passionate supporters of business in Whistler and have been since we opened our branch in 1984. It's been a challenging year for us here in Whistler, but with our can-do spirit and the tremendous efforts of our essential workers, we can see the light. A huge thanks to everyone who has done the work to make that happen, especially our healthcare workers. For the business community, brighter days are just ahead. At Blue Shore, we're feeling optimistic, but know what you've been through. Celebrations like the Whistler Excellence Awards give us a moment to come together, recognize, and feel good about our accomplishments. In my 10 years with Blue Shore, I've had the privilege of getting to know many of you and watch your businesses grow and thrive. Today is about you. So to all the finalists, and of course the winners, Congratulations from the team at Blue Shore Financial. Hello everyone, my name is Saad Hassan. I'm the chair of the Hotel Association of Whistler. The Hotel Association of Whistler 
is delighted to celebrate and recognize uh, the passion and uh, caliber that our various businesses bring to Whistler. Uh, the resilience of the community and health and success is dependent on our entrepreneurs and our le business leaders. Uh, in line with that, we are always very pleased to support the Whistler Chamber of Commerce in all its efforts, um, including its various recognition programs through the many awards. We used to partner with the Whistler um, Above and Beyond Award, and then when it was replaced by the Rising Star, it was but natural for us to continue our partnership to recognize the leading stars of our community. Um, we are delighted to support this award as it appreciates the, the passion, the drive, and the talent our various entrepreneurs bring to the resort. I am delighted to announce this year's nominees for the Rising Star Award. Uh, at ILSA, we have brought togetherness into our workplace by connecting coaches and mentors with youth from the sea to sky and it's, sometimes it's hard to see who's having more fun, the coaches or the kids. Yeah, the word together means so much to me. It's about having an awesome workplace for my staff. You know, COVID was a tough time for everybody personally and, you know, I used work as an outlet for my staff and that was, you know, that was so important to me that they're, you know, that they could feel a lot better about themselves and really look forward to coming to work on a daily basis. This year had so many restrictions that it was easy to focus on what we're not able to do. But what I learned is that we have to move forward and focus on what we're able to do. Yeah, we've brought togetherness in the workplace in many different ways, you know, with our staff, but I think more especially with our members, you know, we have a membership that's sold out, you know, we say that golf is a five-hour vacation, and you know, especially with 2020 being very difficult for everybody, you know, it was a place for people to get together, bond, see each other, and you know, unfortunately get ready for the second wave, and it really helped their mental health uh, during, you know, 2020, and uh, for me personally, that was, a, that was a huge plus for the year. Yeah, 2020 taught me, you know, so much about mental health for me personally and, you know, about having my family around and about having a support network, you know, I really had to, to dive into the stuff that everybody says, right, exercise, meditation, um, in order to get through 2020, you know, successful and, and you know, to be honest, uh, you know, I, I definitely strive through that time and, uh, you know, it, for me personally, it felt really good, but it just solidified the importance of mental health. Hi. I'm so humbled to win the Rising Star Award 2021. What a testing time it has been for everybody in our industry over the last 18 months. I would like to thank the Chamber of Commerce for all their efforts and communications. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the nominations, um, especially Gizem and Michael for the work in their respected fields. As you can see with my from behind here, my Irish heritage, I like it to remind me of home, but after being in Whistler for eight years, I'm now a proud Canadian citizen. I love everything about Whistler. I love the lifestyle. I love the place where I work. Uh, the Fairmont Chateau Whistler has been an amazing employer since I joined here on July 1st, 2013, and I couldn't have got to this position without them. Uh, thank you all very much, and let's look forward to a real busy winter season. Thank you. See you all soon on the golf course. At Reactive Design, we know exactly what service excellence means. Excellent service is like receiving a cold, creamy ice cream cone on a blistering hot day. Here you go. Thanks, mister. You're welcome. It just makes things right. Like the world is trying to take extra special care of you. Too far? Never. Never. Ever. We go above and beyond for service. 
That's what service excellence means. That was a little bit much. <laughs> Despite a crazy year, these businesses kept service their number one priority. Clients and guests were treated like family every single time. Here's to you, the finalists for the Service Excellence Small Business Award. And the nominees are This past year has taught me about the complexities of mental health and my team has been a phenomenal guide to understanding it better, how I can support them better and how we support each other better. We brought togetherness into our uh, store by creating a home delivery service to the whole Sea to Sky corridor. Together for us was shown when the community came together to provide health care for anyone who needed it in new and different ways. Togetherness at Whistler Medical was teamwork, all of our ideas coming together in the clinic but also beyond the clinic. We formed a stronger bond with acute care. We formed stronger bonds with divisions of family practice as well. We created a new relationship with the amazing people at Whistler Blackcomb Foundation and we also, also with the incredible people at Whistler Community Services Society. Together we all made a great team. This past year has taught our business that anything is possible. Together, anything is possible. Hello from the Whistler Medical Clinic. We are absolutely thrilled to have been recognized and rewarded for service excellence. We have an incredible team that has worked long hours, dealt with difficult, ever-changing conditions in order to get us through what's been a really difficult spring. Both of us all of us here will be forever mm -hmm. grateful for the incredible team that devoted themselves to making sure that the community needs were met and that continue to be met as everything begins to finally improve. We also um, need to recognize a few people that helped us along the way. So the Whistler uh, Community Services really helped us out. Um, Division Whistler. of Family Practice, we absolutely could not have done it without you and you were with us every step of the way, which we appreciate. And also the Whistler Black Comb Foundation. They were instrumental in making instrumental. sure that yep. we could yep. carry on what we needed to do. They definitely were. Finally, we're so grateful to the amazing community of Whistler, who we feel like has, has really banded together during this difficult time. It is such a joy and an honor to, to be able to work with this population. And um, thank you for giving us the recognition. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Hi, I'm Augustina Quacaro of WealthSense Financial Group, the exclusive Chamber Employee Benefit Plan Advisor here in the Sea to Sky Corridor. It is an honour to be here tonight and congratulate all of the finalists for this year's Whistler Excellence Awards. Despite all the adversity this year, you guys rose above it and made a difference in our community and we are proud to honour you tonight. I believe our business community is based on three pillars. You, the business owner, your employees, and the Whistler Chamber of Commerce. And it is through these three pillars that we have built an amazing community that supports one another. As a member of the Whistler Chamber of Commerce, you have exclusive access to Canada's leading group benefit plan for businesses with 1 to 50 employees, including home-based businesses. The Chamber Benefit Plan is also run as a non-for-profit, so any surpluses in the pool help keeps premiums low and your renewals stable and predictable year over year. If you're interested in learning about the Chamber Plan Health and Dental Group benefits for you or your business, contact me today. So cheers to you, and we look forward to meeting you in person soon. Congratulations to our first two winners the rising star of the year, Pork O'Rourke, and service excellent small business, Whistler Medical Clinic. We love you guys. Congratulations to all the finalists. Your achievements are amazing. 
Are you all having fun? Not to worry, there are still seven awards to go. Next up, service excellence, large business, sustainability in action, and the Whistler Champion of Arts and Culture. Enjoy. In anything but a normal year, it's even more important to recognize the tremendous resiliency of our community. The Large Business Service Excellent Award is like all these awards this year, a powerful reminder of how during a global pandemic, our businesses delivered service excellence and they did it with health and safety top of mind. Each year, the Excellence Awards give us the opportunity to pause, reflect and celebrate the people and places of our community. Thank you to the Chamber for again this year, ensuring that even though we can celebrate together in person, we don't miss the opportunity to shine a light on the tremendous work of our business community. And the finalists are... This past year has taught me, whilst being away from home during the pandemic, just how much my family actually mean to me. You know what, Amy, I think I'm pretty lucky to have the family that I do too. I really do. And I think we need to find the silver lining in situations and circumstances that aren't always the best. So I think we should just take a minute and laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Togetherness in the workplace by uh, supporting each other like, like we're family. Um, helping each other stay healthy, stay strong, and really to remember why we live here in the first place, this beautiful place. Uh, together in our business is really a sense of belonging for everybody that comes in, uh, whether it's people that we're working with, customers, everybody alike. For me it's closeness, like a familiar place almost. Um, generous portions, smiles, and just knowing that everyone's going to go above and beyond for you. We brought togetherness into our workplace uh, through our new online ordering system and our delivery system. It's really given people an opportunity to come and get food uh, from the restaurant that may not have been able to come in before. Yeah, I think we combine that a little bit with um, team activities, you know, mutual respect, giving back to community programs, really just trying to live as close to uh, our values as possible. This past year has taught our business really how to adapt and change um, with the times and really come together as a team. Um, even during the most toughest part of the year. Yeah, and I think despite how challenging it's been, we've still been able to uh, have like a really warming experience for everybody. Like we're the, the large business with all the heart. Whistler, if you're watching this, it means that Portobello has won service excellence, big business. Unfortunately, our sous chef Tyler can't be with me right now, but I'd like to extend our thanks to the chamber for putting this award on, Whistler Blackcomb for presenting it, our amazing team who we could not have done this without. I'd also like to thank all of you who came in and supported us when we were quiet, provided smiles and laughter galore. Of course, I'd also like to thank Isabel and Jason providing unrelenting support and mentorship throughout this as well. At heart, Portobello has always been about providing smiles, generous portions and giving back to the community where possible. It's very heartwarming to know that we've been able to achieve this despite all of the challenges that COVID has presented us. So once again, a huge thank you to all of you and take care. My name is Candace Rose Taylor and I am one of the new principals at Cascade Environmental. Cascade Environmental has been operating in the sea to sky for several years and sustainability has always been an important part of Cascade's identity. This is why Cascade would like to recognize other businesses in Whistler that are also sustainably minded. The nominees for this award are
sent us into the workplace as part of a 37 resort network where we can lead and we can learn to have a larger impact on climate change. We work with local stakeholders to share ideas and solutions that can make positive change beyond Whistler. Together means all of us at Innovation Building Group working together to build the most healthy, sustainable homes in British Columbia. This past year has taught me that community is only as strong and healthy as the most vulnerable, underserved person in it. And this is where Whistle Community Services has really stepped up in the last year. Our um, sustainable business model really supports this population with donors and customers that support the programming. The word together means different people coming together as a community, passionate about helping each other. So togetherness in our workplace looks like this feeling of belonging. And so that's having people trust that they can come as they are and that they bring value being who they are. So for us, that's celebrating everyone's personal achievements or helping solve problems from a case of curiosity rather than trying to focus on the negative. So that's been our our fostering tool for this year. Hi, my name's Jackie, and I'm the Executive Director of Whistler Community Services. And we are incredibly grateful to be the recipients of the Sustainability in Action Award. Thank you to the Ch Whistler Chamber of Commerce. Thank you to Cascade Environmental Resource Group. Thank you to Whistler Black Home and Innovative Building Group as being part of the nominees and sustainable businesses. We were so grateful to even be nominated in this category. Most of all, Thank you to our staff. They have a passion for waste diversion and the environment. It was never easy work diverting a metric ton of waste every day and a pandemic made that even harder. I'm so proud of the people I work with. I'm so proud of this community. They raised important revenues so that Whistler Community Services could keep continue to provide responsive need as the community changed during this pandemic. We are grateful for you. I'm Lindsey Graham and I'm Dylan Lazell and we are thrilled to be here today on behalf of the Whistler Real Estate Company to present the award for the champion of the arts and culture. Arts and culture is very important for us here at Whistler Real Estate. Um, we have such a diverse group within our community of Whistler and the Sea to Sky. Um, from painters to musicians to artists, crafts, all different things like that. Considering the year that we've had over the last little bit with COVID and all the restrictions and being separate from everyone, it's really important to be able to experience the different... Find ways to connect. Exactly, and escape reality a little bit. We look forward to celebrating all of the artists in our community. And the nominees are... So the word together to me means to be caring and supportive and uplifting to everybody so that we can all be the best versions of ourselves and as a community. Togetherness is at the heart of everything we do. Uh, it takes a village is our motto. We've been bringing filmmakers, film fans, and our supporters together in Whistler for over 20 years to connect to the art and business of film. This past year has really reiterated to me the true value of arts and culture, uh, especially in a sports town where I think that uh, can feel like a bit of an, an extra luxury. Um, arts to me is a, is a lifeline, it's a necessity just like food, water, shelter. It's a funny question because I work out of a closed studio and it's more the finished paintings when they're put on exhibit that brings the community together. This past year taught me that human connection is really important. Um, I had a 
solo exhibit planned for earlier this year and it was taking place during lockdown. So I had to postpone it and it really broke my heart because I really wanted to bring the community together. Um, and actually it's working out for the best because my exhibit is still going on slated for January 2022. Oh my god I can't believe I won. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everyone that voted for me. Um, uh, I wanted to to thank I wanted to thank my mom and my dad because they're always supportive of me and they always have been supportive of me even when I was three years old and I painted my neighbor's car half yellow um, they were supportive I guess I saw the artist in me um, I want to thank my girlfriend Tanya Kong for always being supportive and pushing me to do better and to do better Without you, I wouldn't be here, babe. Um, I want to thank the Chamber of Commerce. I want to thank Total Studios. Uh, they gave me a first place to, to paint when I moved to, to Whistler years ago. Um, thank you so much. Much appreciated. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Hi. Hi, my name is Chanel Conley, and you might remember me from previous films such as The Girl That Got Fed Ice Cream Earlier and the 2020 Whistler Excellence Awards. I am the Events and Office Manager here at the Whistler Chamber. Reactive Design and I have been working on filming these awards and putting together this final video to celebrate all of our amazing finalists. I would like to thank all of our members, including our awards partners, community partners, Whistler Excellence Awards Committee, for all of their hard work. Congratulations to Portobello, Whistler Community Services Society, and Dave Petco. What an amazing group of winners. We are just over halfway through. We have three awards left to celebrate. Enjoy. What do you think it, how do you think it went? Do you think it was okay? Do you think my mom's going to be proud? <laughs> Hi, my name is Nicholas Dollywell, Development Manager at BD Living. BD is a proud sponsor of the Whistler Excellence Awards again this year. These awards take on extra special meaning this year given the pandemic. All nominees should be proud of their success and resilience through this past year. We are also proud of how the community rallied together through these troubled times. It's amazing to see businesses thrive under adversity and tonight is a recognition of that. And the finalists are This past year has taught us how to come together in the face of adversity and come up with new ideas to keep the business going. We started last year with uh, the launch of the Whistler Car Wash and this summer we launched the Whistler Driving School, uh, which is the first carbon neutral driving school in British Columbia. In the year of distancing, we have leveraged technology to bring the board, staff and content development teams together to continue to share knowledge, collaborate and plan to inspire minds through education and thought leadership. When I think about the word together, I think about collaboration over competition. The power to affect real change is in collaboration and working together with other stakeholders who have a shared vision. When it comes to togetherness, as an event company, we could have just given up on the word. It was a global pandemic and we were unable to gather. Instead, our team retooled and retrained to become a thriving online event company, fostering togetherness. This past year has taught me that we are more resilient than we think and that we can do hard things, but we can't do them alone. On behalf of the team at Bluebird Strategy, Mike, Eva, Phyllis, Ruth, Winston, and myself, Heather, I would like to thank the Whistler Chamber of Commerce and its members for this incredible honor. I would also like to congratulate our fellow nominees in this category, the Whistler Connection and the Whistler Institute for their contributions to this community. 
In 2010, we started Bluebird Strategy to enhance the event experience. And 11 years on, despite a pandemic, we have had an incredible run and produced over 150 events in this community. We couldn't have done it without our vendors and our venues and all of our partners. We look forward to many years to come and thank you again for this incredible honor. I wanted to design a logo that represented Worcester as a as that like small town vibe that it has, like a friendly little local community. So I started looking at like local diners and local pubs and like just that old school like Americana nostalgia that we're all kind of familiar with. And I started looking at that and looking at like iconic things of Whistler, like the, the chamber building. This is like, it's where the bus loop is. It's where you arrive when you get to town, like the mountain backdrop, the peak to peak, the big like looming trees we have here. and. I just wanted to like bring all that together and make it look like a cute little local diner that's friendly where you bump into people you know, like a friendly little local vibe. My name's Kat Kim Pritchard, I'm a graphic designer, I live in the Cedar Sky and I've been here for about a decade. The word together means to me community, that's it I think, it's just like yeah, community, it's everything coming together when it has to come together and everything always working out and yeah, just community. Welcome to the Whistler Excellence Awards. My name is Sonia Dollywall and I'm with BCIT Whistler. This year we are the proud sponsors of the Resilient Business of the Year Award. These awards bring us together as a community and remind us to keep supporting our awesome local businesses. The Resilient Business of the Year Award is important as it recognizes our community members and businesses who, especially this year, have had to get creative in how they respond to an ever-changing environment. It's essential to celebrate our resilient businesses now more than ever and recognize their strengths and accomplishments. And the finalists are... The word together means strength. We are stronger as a business, we are stronger as a community when we work with each other towards one goal. Together means community. Uh, our mission since we took over in January 2020 has been to bring the entire community back to the Whistler Racquet Club. Programs that families, locals, members, non-members, they can all enjoy. We brought togetherness into our workplace through a goal of opening every day at 8 a.m. And that was truly a team effort. And each day we cracked the lift at 8 was a team success. The word together for our business means that together we kept each other safe. And then the community came together and supported us through following a whole new set of procedures and protocols. And we can't thank you enough. This past year has shown us the power of rallying around a single goal. Ours was to get open and stay open. And that really united us. It showed us a sense of purpose and passion no matter where you work at Whistler Blackcomb. What an honor it is for Whistler Blackcomb for us to have won this award. But really, this is a collective community win. Thank you to everyone in the community for pulling together and standing behind us to help make this happen. And thank you to our guests. Mostly, thank you to our employees. All of our teams, everyone here, had to pull together, had to reimagine how we do things from uploads in the morning, 8 a.m. starts, season-long programs, our food and beverage. All of us, all of you, together, are the reason that we had a season. Thank you. Millions quarantined with whole cities in lockdown. But how did the coronavirus spread so quickly? We're going to trace the virus day by day. Thank you.
just want to say to everyone how grateful I am for how you took on this pandemic over the last 18 months. It was not easy, but I have been deeply impressed and inspired by our community. Each of you has done your part and uh, you have brought us through COVID-19. Thank you. The night is silent, there is no light, but this evening, there's a fire to fight. Bells ringing, calling all to their post, in the blink of an eye, each is ready to serve. The shrill of their siren, the flashing red lights, nothing deters them, neither day nor night. The Whistler police at attention, response swift and sure. Every day focused and brave, taking care of us all, whatever the call. In a world of uncertainty and change, flexible and nimble you remained. You delivered great care, though the support was not always there. Despite mast and gown, your warmth brought barriers down. Social services are the foundation of this place. Warm meals, shelter, and that friendly face. COVID couldn't deter you, though it certainly tried. Your doors were always open and your arms open wide. Breaking down the stigma of asking for help, you've taken us through our most difficult time. On the front line every morning and night, your courage, conviction, focus, and might, your smile at cash out, your kindness at work made it possible to adjust in our ever-changing world. Well, hello, Whistler. Teresa Walterhouse here from BDO, wishing genuine prosperity to all the individuals and businesses in our local community of Whistler that we love to call home. BDO is one of the largest accounting, tax and advisory firms, both in Canada and internationally. In Canada, we have a very broad local reach with over 125 offices across the country. We work really closely with businesses, both small and large, providing support and advice and we take a genuine interest and pride in their success. It's what we do, what we value, and what makes us excited to work every day. So when we were asked a few years ago if we would like to sponsor the prestigious Business Person of the Year Award, we were absolutely thrilled because we couldn't think of a better way to celebrate and honor our local businesses and the success stories that they bring to themselves and our community. So please join me in congratulating, first off, all of the businesses in Whistler for surviving through what's been a very two challenging years. Uh, what everybody's done has been impressive and everybody deserves a big pat on the back for that. But today of course we are here for an award ceremony so please join me in congratulating and recognizing this year's nominees for their special business contributions. And of course, we always have to do a special cheer out for this year's winner. So please congratulate everybody. And now for this year's nominees. There's a quote that I love and it's alone we are strong, together we are stronger. 
and it teaches us the importance of teamwork and I think without my team we wouldn't have been able to weather the last year and I think we've thrived um, coming up with new concepts so I'm incredibly proud of them. Well, the work together means uh, getting the trust of the staff uh, to know that we as employers are, are doing everything we can to uh, make the workplace and uh, environment safe for them. The past year taught me the importance of the local customers. We didn't have any big events, job, no conference, no weddings, but fortunately we had the local customers who supported us. I think we brought together this in the workplace by uh, keeping the staff uh, informed about all the new health and safety regulations uh, to make things safe for them. Well, the past year has taught us that we have to be quick to make adjustments in an in a, in a informed manner and uh, that, that we we're really proud and, and very uh, lucky to have such a understanding staff. Well, thank you very much for this great honour. Thank you to the Chamber for nominating us for Business Persons of the Year. Sam and I have been so lucky to be able to have a business and live in such a great, vibrant and beautiful place. We've lived in Worcester for 33 years and have raised our two children here. We can't think of a better place to be. We'd like to say a special thanks to the community for their many years of support and encouragement. Of course, the success of any business is the strength and dedication of its staff. We've been very fortunate to have such an amazing group at the market starting with our GM, Kent, and all of our great department managers, which include Don, who's been with us 33 years, and Mike, 24 years. As we all know, it's a challenge staffing in Worcester, so we are very lucky to have such a great team. So thank you very much to all our staff for their hard work and dedication, especially in the last 18 months. Again, thanks very much for this great honor. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Nancy Wilhelm Morton and I have been a partner in Racing Company for many years. First off, I'd like to thank you for inviting me to speak and I'd also like to express my congratulations to the nominees and to the recipients of the awards. Racing Company is a full service law firm established in the Sea to Sky Corridor in the 1970s. We have offices in Whistler and Squamish, and we have over 40 employees. We believe strongly in giving back to the communities, and one of the ways we do that is through our involvement with the Whistler Excellence Awards and the Citizen of the Year. Racing Company has been a proud sponsor and partner in these awards over the years. The Whistler Excellence Awards recognizes and fosters those qualities that are core to Racing Company and that make this part of the world such a wonderful place to live, work and play. And to raise a family, says me, a new grandma. So thanks again, congratulations, and the nominees are... Togetherness means to me community and the support of community. Um, when I first got here, there were some very strong women who, um, when I gave, told them the idea of I want to write a, start a writer's festival, they were behind me um, and said, you go for it, you follow your dreams. We've brought togetherness into our work by really increasing collaboration and partnership between our local medical team and community-based social services and nonprofits and local government. And it's really created some incredibly impactful and increasingly connected relationships. This past year had taught me that basically Mother Earth is telling us to slow down in some ways and to take care of what we have. And I'm just trying to do my part with that. And I, if I can really bring people together to do that, then it's goal achieved, mission achieved. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, 
the word together. There's a new word that I've learned recently that I love that reflects this concept. The word Ubuntu is a Zulu word that loosely translated means I am because you are or I am because we all are. And it really speaks to a common humanity and how much we all rely on and need each other. I think this past year has really taught us that family practice as a medical specialty practiced in isolation is just no longer a tenable model of care. It really needs to be deeply rooted in community and in the social determinants of care. It is such an honor to be nominated for this award, let alone selected from such an inspiring group of people. It's especially meaningful to me in a year that's highlighted the importance of healthcare and the fact that it really takes an entire community working together to effectively deliver that care. I think many of the successes in Whistler's COVID response have been due to addressing all aspects of our community's health and well-being collectively as a community. These include the many social determinants of health like food security and housing and financial stability and emotional supports and so many more. I feel incredibly grateful to be a small part of this amazing community healthcare collaborative that has formed very naturally in response to COVID-19. It includes all of the traditional healthcare providers as well as our community social services and nonprofits, our municipality and RCMP, our health authority and um, public health and our division of family practice. I really look forward to continuing our work together to reimagine and elevate our community's health and well-being. On behalf of the Whistler Chamber of Commerce, our presenting partner Blue Shore Financial and our community partners, the Community Foundation of Whistler, Arts Whistler and AWARE, we would like to congratulate the recipients of tonight's awards. To all winners and finalists, congratulations on being part of this celebration. This community values the work you put in every day to make Whistler the place that it is. And thank you to our award partners, the Resort Municipality of Whistler, the Whistler Real Estate Company, Race and Company, BD Living, BCIT, Reactive Design, BDO, Whistler Black Home, Cascade Environmental Resource Group, and the Hotel Association of Whistler. I hope you've all had a lovely evening tonight. We will hopefully see you all in person to celebrate next year. Bye for now.